I am Cyborg. I carry a body that is half human and half machine. I possess immense strength and durability. Ordinary physical attacks barely affect me. Parts of my body can transform into weapons at will. With built-in thrusters, I can soar freely through the skies. My greatest weapon is without a doubt my mind. I can stay connected to the network 24-7. I can access every live surveillance feed across the globe. There is no system in the world I cannot break into. If I chose to, I could even control every nuclear warhead on Earth. Sometimes, when I see a struggling single mother, a single thought from me is enough to raise the numbers in her bank account. I was once a promising football player, but one night, while driving with my mother, we were struck by tragedy. The car crash took her life instantly and left me at death's door. My father, Silas Stone, refused to lose me too. He brought me back to his lab, where he used the power of the mother box and cybernetic technology to resurrect me. That was the day I became a cyborg, half man and half machine. At first, I was furious at my father. Why did he turn me into a monster of flesh and metal? I couldn't even look at myself in the mirror. I avoided my friends, terrified they would see what I had become. But slowly, I began to realize the truth. I had gained powers no ordinary person could ever imagine. I could reach into the global network at will. I could break into any system and from the shadows, quietly help others. In time, I joined the Justice League. Fighting alongside my teammates, I came to understand that my father had not stolen my life. He had given me a second chance. To stop the invasion of Steppenwolf's army, we used the mother box inside the Kryptonian ship to resurrect Superman. But when he returned, his memories were fractured. His eyes scanned us with confusion, and my defense systems detected hostility. Shit! What are you doing? This is my auto defense system! Get him! Control Before I could control it, my weapons fired on him. The blast enraged Superman, and he lashed out, striking at all of us without restraint. Just when it seemed hopeless, Lois Lane arrived in time. Her presence calmed him, and he slowly regained himself. As she held him in her arms, he began to remember who he truly was. When his memories fully returned, Superman knew his duty. He went back to the Kryptonian ship, donned the black suit, and rose into the skies to bathe in the sunlight, restoring his strength. In the final battle against Steppenwolf, Diana and Arthur were pinned down. Steppenwolf turned his axe toward my back. For the dark side. Not impressed. But at the crucial moment, Superman appeared. He took the blow on his shoulder without flinching. With a single breath, he froze the weapon solid. Then, with one punch, he shattered it into pieces. Every strike from Steppenwolf was effortlessly dodged. 